What's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here and I just got off the phone with an operator based in New Hampshire and the reason he called me was he said, Mark, you know, I've been running my own Google Ads and he knew all his numbers. He said, we've gotten about 3,000 impressions, we've gotten around um, 260 clicks and then we got eight leads and zero bookings. So he said, we don't really know what's going on here and we need your help. And so the first thing I did is I thought about, okay, what are the three things that create the lowest client acquisition, po uh, client acquisition cost possible? Okay, there's three factors. Number one is the Google Ads. Number two is the website. And number three is the follow-up. <clears throat> These three things, when you optimize each one of them, can get you the lowest client acquisition cost possible, which that's what we're trying to do. So his 260 clicks, I think he said he was paying $2 a click. So um, he spent $520 and got zero clients, right? So his client acquisition cost is infinity, right? Because he didn't even land one. But if he got one client from that, then his client acquisition cost would be $520. I'm guessing all of you watching this video don't want that high of a client acquisition cost. So he asked me, you know, what do you think it is? And so I decided to dive in and go over each um, component with him. And so starting with Google Ads, it's all about getting your ads in front of the right people. <clears throat> Building a campaign that's only going to show your ads to the people um, that are in your area or are searching for services in your area and are searching for a service that you offer. Uh, another uh, client I talked to earlier today said, um, you know, I was just, before I was getting a lot of people looking for a shuttle service or a taxi. And the problem with Google Ads, and, and more so now than ever, is they're expanding, when you have a keyword, they're expanding what sort of searches can trigger or what, what keywords get triggered by what searches. So meaning if someone searches, um, Houston Airport Shuttle Service and your keyword is Houston Airport Limo Service, Google's like, well, hey, these two things, they're, they're pretty close together, so let's go ahead and show the ad. And of course, who makes the most money when that happens? Google. It's unfortunate, but it's just the reality. So I said, starting with your Google Ads campaign, it's very likely that of those 260 clicks, maybe only half of them were for people that were looking for exactly what you offer, exactly where you offer it, okay? So let's just say 50% of the clicks are relevant, okay? And let's pretend we're starting with 100 clicks just to make the math easy. And this is with a campaign that might be a smart campaign, maybe it's a campaign Google, uh, the gurus over at Google helped you build, um, but we don't want this number to be here and I'll go over what the number should be. Now you're sending them to your website and your website's using um, a booking widget. Maybe it's Limo Anywhere, maybe it's, um, I think he was using Ground Alliance and he said himself, he admitted, okay, I had my, a friend of mine go to my website to try to you know, book a ride or get a quote and he was there for a few minutes trying to figure out what to do on the widget, how to book a round trip. And so he said, I think that might be a problem. I said, well, yeah, you think so? And so this is probably the most important part of the video, guys. So you want to have someone you know um, that's not tech savvy. It doesn't even have to be someone you know. Just a non-tech savvy person, what you wanna do is when you're with them, have them go to your website on their phone and have them try to book or try to request a quote and see how long it takes them. It should be like that. And if it isn't, you are losing tons and tons of potential leads. Okay, so 
um, what's the guesstimate for his website uh, for the conversion rate? Conversion just meaning if 100 people go to the website, how many people are going to do something you want them to do, like call you or fill out a quote request form? Now, I'm guessing, and this is being generous, that his website conversion rate was probably 10% likely less than that but let's just let's be generous and say it's 10 percent okay so now if we're dealing with 100 clicks now we only have 50 right and if only 10 percent convert into leads now we're down to five leads right okay now follow up he said well uh, it sends out a quote via email and i'll tell you right now if you're doing an email quote um, number one you know, it takes him time to generate the quote, so it's not happening right away. But most importantly, I don't know about you, but I get so many emails, spam emails every day. I'm probably subscribed to 500 lists, most of which I feel like I didn't subscribe to. And so when I get an email, especially from my personal email, it is just spam central, and I miss emails all the time. And that's what's happening when you're sending out quotes via email. They're missing them. And if you're not following up with a text message, um, many times they won't see them at all. And so out of you know the five leads here, how many are gonna close? Well, uh, with sending an email quote 45 minutes after they request a quote, probably a big fat zero. But let's just say um, his uh, lead to sale close rate is 10% just because of using email and taking forever to get the quote. So how many uh, jobs does he book? 0.5. So he would need 200 clicks to get one sale. And if you're paying $2 a click, even if it's a dollar a click, that's $200 to get one client that might very well be a $160 ride. Uh, from Manchester, from Logan to Manchester, that's what he said, $160. So um, we don't wanna do that, guys. So what do we want? Okay, so let's start with the same 100 clicks. And this is for a well-optimized Google Ads campaign. So um, we're gonna say this number here is 90%. And typically it's actually higher, but let's just say it's the very first month of a Google Ads campaign, this looks like 100 dicks. Um, that's gonna bother me. So let's just make CL, <laughs> space the CL. Um, okay, so now we have 90 relevant clicks, right? And for the website, we're, we're using a one-page landing page that's really well optimized for conversions, meaning if 100 people go to it, we're gonna get 25 to 35 people that call or request a quote or start an online chat. Let's just say, let's round that off and put the number at 30%, okay? So 30% conversion rate here. And so now out of those 90 clicks, we've got 27 leads. Hopefully you can see that, 27 leads. Okay, and you know, you've been watching a lot of uh, limo marketer videos and so you know it's all about speed, uh, method of contact, SMS, um, post quote follow up, right? So after you give the price, you've got an automated system that follows up several times um, until, they, uh, until they book or let you know, hey, stop following up with me. And then finally, price, right? Price is important, but it's actually not the most important thing and it shouldn't be the lowest price. And so, because you have all of this in place, you're closing at anywhere from 20 to 35%, let's call it 25%. Okay, so 25% of 27, that's going to give you a little over six, you know, 6.75, we'll just call it seven sales, seven bookings, okay? So now we went from getting a half of a booking with 100 clicks to seven bookings. That's a 14X 
increase. And these numbers are all completely legit. I know they're legit because, well, I've just been doing this for so long and I've seen this work for so many different client campaigns. So when you optimize each step, the Google Ads campaign, getting the right people, uh, getting your ads in front of the right people, uh, number two, the website, getting those people to take the next step to request a quote, fill out a form, call, uh, start an online chat, and then finally, you're sending out a quote right away via SMS, you're including some photos of the vehicle inside, outside, you're giving them an all-in quote, which includes gratuity, um, and then if they don't give you a yes or a no, you've got that post quote follow-up happening for every single quote you do, right? So if they don't close, you need to make sure they're getting follow-ups until they tell you, um, you know, they're not interested anymore. If you do all of those things, you can expect to get a massive, massive increase in bookings from your online marketing campaigns. And by the way, um, all of these, this is the same whether you're doing Google Ads, SEO, even Facebook Ads, which is going to have a lower, um, a lower lead to sale close rate because it's not someone who's actively searching for what it is you offer. They just saw your ad. Maybe you had a good offer because you've been watching you know, my videos and you know you must have an offer in your Facebook ad. Uh, but you're not gonna close as many with Facebook ads. But for all of these things, you wanna make sure you've got a well-converting website. Uh, online booking tools, for the most part, are not very good. These widgets, they suck, and they don't track conversions. And then you wanna make sure your follow-up is on point. And if you do that, you are going to get far, far more bookings, a much better return on your marketing spend. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next week.